Hi guys. Okay, so I got out of work early today. Happy Friday. Um, we are going to do a straight pour and I've got my paints. They've been mixed up for about four days now and I'm not wearing my sweater. I'm wearing my apron because it's sort of humid here. It's Memorial Day weekend. I hope everybody's going to have a wonderful weekend with family or friends and all of that. So we are going to start by layering the cup and a little bit of white. And I'm gonna come in. My gold is super thick. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to that. You don't want the gold too thick. <clears throat> the colors I'm using, I will tell you them all in just a moment. So this is uh, Artist Loft White, makes two parts Floetrol to one part paint. And then I added a couple of scoops of satin enamel. This is Golden's Payne's Gray. I have uh, Nickel Azo Gold. That's a little thick also. Just wanna add a little gold here. And a little bit of white, not too much. And I'm gonna come in again with the gold. I wanna bumper the white because I don't want it to lighten my other colors. This is Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. Again, mixed two parts Floetrol to one part paint. This is Jenkins Green by Golden. Um, mixed also the same way. So those are my colors and I'm just layering my cup. It's been a while since I've done a galaxy style pour, so we'll see how it turns out. Um, <laughs> it's how long it's been. Uh, so hopefully I haven't missed a beat. Bumper, that was some gold. And this will be, the bottom colors are more the center. These are, I wanna say the two thirds color. So it'll be on the two thirds area of the canvas. And then the higher leveled colors are going to be the outside and the edges. So yeah, that's what we're doing. So, so I'm just layering the cup now. I suppose I'll do a little more gold. And the green. And green does have a tendency of taking over. So we're not going to do any more white. This will probably dry somewhat dark, but we'll see. 
we'll see. Move all my colors out of the way. I'm going to put my layered cup there. Here it is. It's fabulous. And we're going to put the white in the middle. We'll see how this turns out. Get my torch. Alright. A wee bit nervous. I think I'm going to rotate this just a little bit. I always like my centers going up at an angle to the top left. I've got lots of bubbles coming up. <laughs> So I'm going to each corner and then I'm coming back to the center, something that I learned from Gina DeLuca early on in my pouring experience. We're gonna come in with this. Spread it out. All right, cup of white is gone. Definitely more than enough paint on this canvas, but that's how I like it. So let me just torch one more time. Get all those air bubbles, all right. So I think I'm going to go this way first, just so I can open up this area. I'm okay with losing this area. And then some of this, I think. Oh, no. we'll see how it goes. So where did I leave off? All right. So we're going to go in a different direction, I guess. 
I'm just slowly stretching it out. I don't want it to necessarily go off the edges yet. So, I say so a lot, don't I? But I'm okay if it goes off there a little bit. Now I'm bringing this back. I don't know if you guys can see. My tripod broke, so I have you mounted up high <laughs> on a bunch of stuff. All right, bear with me for a second. Some paper towel going there. This one's super pretty. I'm gonna come in. A lot more air bubbles. You want to pop those air bubbles. this area here. I didn't think I would. Um, yeah, this is so pretty. So let's see here. We're going to go over here because I do want to salvage that corner. And now we're going to come down to this corner. And just letting it settle a bit. I don't want to bring my drippy hands over the composition. And I have more air bubbles. So air bubbles, they're good, they're bad. If I torch them now, they'll pop and some of the colors will come up underneath sometimes. So when I stretch the composition, they'll open up more. But I think we've pretty much gotten all that we need. And I'm gonna bring this off here. I really want to try and keep this band, but it's a corner, so it's gonna be a tough call. I think I'm going to keep it as is. I'm really, really loving what's in front of me. And I love this uh, very white sort of gold sheer band here with, but there's like a ton of lines. I love it. So we are going to clean up our edges and bring you guys in. So here it is. I really like that nickel Azo gold. Um, it's beautiful against the Payne's gray. So 
So I just, I just don't even know. This is just so pretty. Um, so I got some of the boulder cells, stripey cells that I get. Uh, it's not 100% what I was going for, but I do like the center a lot. And I love all of this in here. It's so pretty. And then this, I've never seen this before. So this is sort of cool. Um, but yeah, not bad. I'm happy with the piece and I'm trying to keep the ring light off of the composition. But uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Definitely going to be doing some more of these as I've missed them. Um, and you guys gave me some ideas and bits of inspiration, colors to use, and that's what I'm going to do. So I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye.